Hey guys and welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Bronte in case you didn't know. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial just to show you how I get my brows nice and bold and just really just look in all kinds of glam. Obviously you can tell the difference right now. Well I hope you can anyway. I am lucky because I have naturally quite dark and defined brows already but as you can tell they still need that little bit extra help. If you're not already go and subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft down below just so you can keep up to date on all the latest videos from myself and some of the other girls on the channel and if you like these quick little how-to tutorials please give this video a thumbs up and if you would like to see how I get my bold brows then please keep watching. Just going to start you off by zooming you in and letting you take a quick little look so this is obviously without anything I obviously already have substantial brows especially here but they do tend to thin out a little bit on the end so for brows normally what I have been using is I will use the Maybelline tattoo brow gel tint and this is in the color dark brown so I'm not going to demo this today but basically it is like a brow tint gel and it will deepen and darken your brows and it gives them like a longer lasting tattoo effect a tattoo affecting I'm sure you guys have heard about brow tattooing um, so if you want more longer lasting and you need that extra darker tint to your brows and go give this a try so first I am going to be using the Maybelline master brow pro palette and I am in the color deep brown I'm always like generally the darkest color that there is for eyebrows I generally always always use this brow powder so start by grabbing yourself a nice angled brush just like this one here so I start by trying to define my brow a little bit more so I start on the bottom part and just drawing the powder drawing a line just because I do like my shape to be quite defined as you can see it sort of angles it a bit better and then I do that under the whole bottom part just to give that shape a little bit more definition and then I do it from about halfway where the arch is and towards the tail end and I'll go to the start and sort of flick the product up Flicking the product up, it sort of just blends the powder in a little bit more. So as you can see, it's already like immediately more defined. Then I will go and grab the Brow Satin and this is in the color Medium Brown. I love this to basically fill in all the sparseness. Not that I have a lot of sparseness, but I always use it. So right in the center, I just do those upward flicking motions just to sort of follow the natural hair. Sometimes I go down too, but you know. So filling in, especially down here. Just because I find that it does give that slightly more natural, less powdery. That's why I don't do all powder. I have to use some of this just so it looks a bit more natural. So just filling it in, I'll fill it in all the way. And then I also add it down more of a straight line down the tail end. Once I'm happy with that, I will grab a spoolie, spoolies for life, spoolies forever, and I will just brush it through, just because I don't think a brow is ever complete without dragging your spoolie through it. Now, you do not have to do this, but I go and grab the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. This is in soft brown. Normally, I would say I'm a bit of a dark color, but I still like this. It doesn't really add a color over the top it's more just to keep your brows in place normally just wipe the excess gel off and then I just go over really really lightly brushing it in upward motions just to try and get them placed it'll help keep your brows more in place and there you have it this is how I do my brows Anyways, guys, that was all for today. I hope you guys liked this quick little how-to tutorial. Let us know in the comments below if you liked it. Let us know what you would like to see next. And hopefully I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.